Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I've got a little, I haven't done a video about Russell Klein lately, and so I've gotten a ton of messages from people wanting information because they're being told by other people, by Russell, by whoever, that they need to get the ultras as a new denture wear. I really strongly say no. Don't do it. Unless you can spend $1,000 every couple weeks to get a new set of ultras from Russell, do not do it. Now, I love Russell. He is a great craftsman. He has blessed so many people. He's amazing. But here's the thing with the ultras is that these are the ultras. They are super duper thin. They're a nylon base. It's made of keratin. Um, it's a super smooth injected material. Nothing will stick to it. Now, when I say nothing will stick to it, I mean that in the sense of soft relines. They won't stick. You can't get a hard reline on these. You can't rebase it at your local office. Not many people make these. And things like denture fit don't stick. No matter how much Russell tells you or denture fit tells you or other people tell you from different soft liner companies, Pro Soft, all of it, it doesn't stick. Now, videos are deceiving. If you see people out there who are using denture fit on their ultras and they make it seem like it's working. Well, I could put denture fin on these and let them sit on my shelf. And of course it would make it seem like it's sticking and there's no problem with it. But once you start wearing them, saliva, cleaners, toothbrushes, things like that get on it, it starts to lift instantly. It doesn't stick because it's non-porous. There's nothing for the primer to stick onto. It, it, it won't stick. It does not work well with this material. They're injected and it's too good of a denture to have anything stick to it. So the only thing that I've gotten remotely to work to this is a reline it kit, $5. And there's two applications in here. What you have to do is get a light grit sandpaper and rough up the inside real good. The sides, the trough, everything, the palette. You have to rough it up a little bit and that will allow it to stick better. But again, this is for people who are done shrinking, who are in, you know, the more comfortable phase of it to where you're not shrinking every week, you don't have to use a lot of adhesive, you don't have to use liners and things like that. These are meant to fit very snugly up in your mouth and not really have too much in between them. Now, a light adhesive will keep these suckers in all day long. These are really great, but they're meant for people who are done shrinking, okay? The difference with the acrylics. These are his acrylics. They're great dentures. My husband had them, has them, I had them. These are mine. These were my temporaries from Russell. These are his just, you know, generic standard acrylics. And these are great because you can get stuff to, to stick on these. So Reline It Kit works awesome with these. It peels out when you need it to. Now, Denture Fit. I used Denture Fit and I was very grateful for it, but it over adhered to my denture. So I had to spend hours sanding it out of my denture. And if you're not comfortable doing that, you can have a lot of explaining to you when you go into your dentist and it can be costly to get it out. So there is a method using the anchor point system where you only put the primer in a special little spots here to where you only stick it to a few different areas so you don't have a lot of scraping to do with that primer. Um, but... You can do just the same with this for $5, you guys. Nothing against Denture Fit, nothing against Russell, nothing against any of the other companies out there, but your best option if you're gonna get Russell Klein's and acrylics is to get this. This is pretty, pretty foolproof. If you mess it up, you can do it again. And it's only $5. If you mess up Denture Fit, you have to order it again for $50. And again, and again, and again. The thing with all of these soft liners is that it's temporary use only. It's not meant for long-term use. The same thing with DentureFit, ProSoft, all of that stuff. It's it's a temporary fix until you can address the issues of fitting with your denture with your dentist. So, if you're a new denture wearer and you're going through Russell Klein, get the acrylics. I say this because you have a lot more options of what you can use with them. They can be hard hard relined by your dentist. You don't have to send it back to Russell to hard reline it. You can take it to your dentist and they can add acrylic to it. You can rebase it. So there are a lot of options with these. They're just as good. They're strong. They're just like the dentures that I got from my dentist um, from the lab. They are great. But the thing is with the ultras, you don't have a lot of options with them to put liners in. Adhesive works great on them, 
but liners don't. If, if you're in, gonna be in the shrinkage phase, which is the first year or so, you don't wanna get the ultras because you can't, there's nothing that is gonna stick to them. So you're gonna be super frustrated, you're not gonna be able to wear your dentures, and it's not gonna, it, it's not gonna be a positive experience. So take it from me, someone who's tried all of it on her dentures, on the sample dentures, things like that, I swear to you, you guys, as a denture wearer, if you're getting temporary dentures from Russell, you're still in the shrinkage phase, you want to get the acrylics. Den Russell is amazing. I love him. But he's not a denture wearer. So we can all make it stick while it's sitting on a counter or in a lab, but the minute you put it in your mouth, it doesn't stick. It doesn't do the same. Because you all of a sudden start cleaning them, brushing them, using chemicals on them. It's in your mouth. You're chewing with them. It lifts it doesn't stick to the ultras so be careful when you're using denture fit on acrylics because it can over adhere you want to be sparingly with the um, primer it is a great option for people if you're comfortable using it but just remember it doesn't work on the ultras i don't care what video someone has put together saying it does work it doesn't russell knows that it doesn't work and I think he's trying to be non-biased to denture fit and to people he just wants them to make up their own mind with it. But I don't agree with telling people to buy a $50 product that doesn't work. It just doesn't work on the ultras, you guys. It doesn't. So just, you know, make up your own mind on it. But I'm just a little bit of information is it doesn't work on the ultras. It only works on the acrylics. The denture fit does when it comes to the ultras the only thing that i've gotten to remotely stick is reline it that is it i've tried all the other ones that you can buy over the counter um it just doesn't work and that's just the way that it is it's because of the material it's the way they're made and these are these are meant to fit very snugly in your mouth be very thin and lightweight but they're not meant to have liners stick to them they just they don't stick so if you are past the shrinkage phase, it's okay to you to buy the ultras because you don't have to worry about wearing a liner. The adhesives work great on these. But if you're still shrinking and you know you're gonna need liners and adjustments and things like that, go with the acrylics and use something that's over the counter that you can get readily. It's cheap. If you use a lot of them, it's okay because there's two applications in each box. My trick with this stuff is put it in the freezer until you use it. If you buy it today and you don't need it for a month, put it in the freezer. And when you put it in the freezer, when you when you mix it up, pour it immediately. Don't let it sit. Make sure it's mixed thoroughly and pour it immediately in your denture. You're going to get a better even spread with it and it's going to fill up as a liquid in all of the little nooks and crannies and actually fill up all the space and be even. You won't have to try to you know spread out this rubbery substance. So put it in the freezer until you need it and then pour it immediately and you will get a much better result with it. So again, it doesn't work. Um, denture fit doesn't work on ultras. If you're a new denture wearer, you need to go with acrylic. And that's just from a denture wearer who's sampled all of it. Anyway, Russell is great. He's amazing. And I love what he does. He's blessed us with many different things. And I absolutely adore him. I just think that it's important for people to know all the facts with it. And I know that he wants people to have the best denture that he makes. But he's not conveying the issue of what it costs for denture fit and the fact that it doesn't work. There is a ton of people out there will tell you they've bought it, they've tried it, it doesn't work. Um, it's just the way that it is. So it's not meant to be, even in their literature, it states not to be used on flexible material or nylon based dentures. That's what an ultra is. So it says it in the literature, it doesn't work. So. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day. I hope this uh, like helps some of you guys and helps with some of the confusion. If you're a new denture wearer, stick with the acrylics. If you're past that shrinkage phase, go ahead and, you know, if you want to spring for the ultras, great. They're amazing. They're just not meant for new denture wearers. So I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day. And I hope this helps some of you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, use the comment section. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the bell. It'll let you know when the next video comes out. Have a good day.